what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A fundraiser created by Candace Owens to aid an Alabama bar following the owner's controversial comments about George Floyd was suspended by GoFundMe, according to a report. Michael Dykes, the owner of Birmingham's Parkside Cafe, called Floyd a thug and described protesters as idiots in comments originally sent over text message, which were later posted online by the recipient. The text message forwarded to other bar employees led three other staffers to quit. The employee who received Dykes' message posted it to Facebook and resigned. The Facebook post prompted calls to boycott the bar. And that's when Kunda stepped in and she was in rare form. She said she was only trying to help an already struggling business. Well, go find me didn't appreciate her help. So they shut down the account and gave the bar owner the $203,000 that was raised in a matter of hours. Candace didn't really like that. So she made some comments along the lines of being targeted as a Republican. Conservative views are not appreciated. We are under attack. GoFundMe said that the post violated their terms of use, including uh, bullying, harassment, and things of that nature. You know how they do. They love to bully and harass and then play the victim. They are so damn good at that. I mean, no shame whatsoever. And you know, you always know what Candace stands, right? Because anytime there's a situation where there's a black and white, she always rolls with the white. Always. Now listen, I ain't got no problem if a person is just being honest and saying, you know, like if a person was just being objective and, you know, they, if they're attacking people, you know, they're equal opportunity attackers. You know, like you get on white people's ass, you get on black people's ass, you get on whoever's ass that is out of line. You know, whoever needs ass whooping, that's who ass you get on. I ain't got no problem with that. My problem with Candace Owens is that she is a paid agent. She's a mole put in place for the sole purpose of throwing black people under the bus. And She's really good at it because she's figured out a way. Well, you know what she did? She didn't figure it out. She didn't reinvent the wheel. She just stole a page from Stacey Dash's book. She studied Stacey Dash. I bet you anything she studied her. She studied her and she also studied Charles Barkley. They are some of the main, and, and, and Whitlock. They're some of the main ones who love to talk about the issues that's going on. Anytime there's an issue involving black folks, the media love to put a mic in these clowns' faces because they know they're going to get that Sambo, Sambo, have you heard comment. I mean, just like clockwork. Just like clockwork, they are going to pick the side that's most unpopular with black folks. Always. Never in concert with their own people. Never, never. And they never attack other races the way they attack their own. They never call out other races the way they call out their own people. See, I can do both. I have no problem calling out if it's wrong, it's wrong. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity of the person is. I call out anybody. But not Candace. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She wouldn't dare make a negative generalization about white folks. Charles Barkley, you're never going to catch them saying stuff like that. Not, not serious. She might say something in, in you know, ton and cheek or just playing around or something, goofing around. But she's not going to say something that's volatile. But she's serious. 
say something about a negative trait that a group of white people may have or, or most white people may have or whatever. She's not going to do that. She won't do it because she know her career would be over, the jig would be up, the hustle would be over. All in this thing ain't nothing but a hustle. She has zero credibility. And it is amazing that somebody can make a career off of attacking their own people. That's what she do. That's her hustle. I got it, you know, she a bulldog. Turn her loose. But to turn her loose exclusively on our own people. You got to ask yourself, what kind of parents could raise somebody like that? Like, if my child came out like that, man, there's no way possible I would have any love for them. I would disown them in a heartbeat. Candace Owens, you're a low life, And so is the owner of the bar. You guys are two peas in a pod. You deserve each other. Furthermore, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the talking about? Yeah.